Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to 60 Seconds. If you watched the last video, you know that we got absolutely destroyed in the most entertaining ways. And in this video, we're gonna use everything that we learned in that last one to try and actually finally get the twins ending, which is the one I've been going for for a while now. And in this video, we're actually gonna do it. It was an absolute struggle and a wild ride getting there, but I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Well, let's hop into the game. Let's go. Come on. We need this. We got this. Okay, let's grab the mech kit right away. I mean, how much is the mech kit? I don't know how heavy the mech kit is. We need a bunch of food and water as well, because that's what we forgot last time. Okay, mech kit is too heavy. Wait, here we go. Water, food. Get that, get that. Okay, this is a good start. It's right here as well. Get the axe. Get that. Get the axe. Yes, radio is only one spot, right? Yes. Okay, radio is always good. We definitely need the map. We already have the mech kit, right? We need the map. We need some water. Uh, oh, we got the lock. That's fine, too. Water, food. We need the... We're not... We're gonna leave MJ, probably. I'm sorry, MJ. Uh, you should have not destroyed the map. I'm still mad about that. Take the book. Take Timmy. Yes. Go, go, go. Take Dolores. Uh, we need food. Food and water. We have a little bit of everything now. Is there anything we're missing? I think I'm missing something. Go, 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 go. Oh, the suitcase. Or the gun. Take the gun instead. I think we'll leave the suitcase now. The suitcase hasn't really done much for us. We take the bug spray. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. I wanted to get the rest, but I have to go. All right. I got a few more food. Here we go. Okay, those are a good start, I think. Relatively good. We have food. We had food and water, right? I got a little bit of both. I did a, definitely two trips where I took a little bit of food and a little bit of water. Maybe only three. Hey, Tiggy, what's up? Uh, let's hope that was good because we really need it. No MJ this time. Oh, yes. Okay, so we got more than enough. Look at that. Still, we would have liked a bit more food, but that's fine. We have med kit, uh, the axe, and the map, which are required for the twins ending. We can do this. Come on. We also have some extra bullets here. Almost all of us made us to the shelter. Almost. All we can do now is start thinking of creative ways to serve canned soup. Our shelter used to be fully stocked, but somehow we always found a better way to use the stock supplies instead of leaving them for an emergency. Once we had a soup dinner party, another time we needed to rifle to help our neighborhood watch in a vicious fights against raccoons. Luckily, some of the supplies were left untouched. Okay, we don't have much food. No one's complaining yet, but the canned soup might become an extravagant dish quite soon. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. It's the only one we've ever seen, but whatever. All right, so no one needs to eat on the first day. Us, uh, we always thought life could be much better. That was before we got nuked, but now we think life could be much, much better. In a way, not that much has changed. I think this is a pretty good start. This is a good start. Uh, and as long as we don't get completely royally screwed by the event. So we're not going to go on a, on an expedition right away. We need to sit out the first few days of like heavy radiation. So we have slightly more success in completing uh, the expedition. So we don't get like uh, a Mary Jane disaster repeat. Uh, let's see. We're a regular family. So we have the occasional argument or two. But it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Let's just hope this won't last too long. Okay, so no expedition yet because the radiation is out there. I uh, hope you guys are good, by the way. Uh, we are trying to survive the apocalypse. Uh, we have not been very successful because <laughs> we keep getting screwed by the worst RNG of all time. It's insanely rude. Uh, we're done fighting, but for how long? All right, you guys need to drink soon. Not yet, though. How, how is this looking? The contamination of our town is still strong. Okay, we're going to wait for a few more days. Uh, we've been smelling something funny in the shelter ever since we woke up. Sure enough, there was something, something. Wait, something or someone started a fire and it's already spreading. We can't save everything. What do we save from the flames? Okay, so I would usually save the radio, but we need the med kit for the twins ending. Because this is one of the things that we missed last time and we just couldn't beat the game. So we have to save the med kit. We're going to give up the radio. Sadly, we I really wanted to send timmy out there with the boy scout book but i guess that's not gonna happen it's fine <laughs> we're saving the mech kit we really need it the rng is always gonna screw you up in these games it's the way it goes oh my god every it's actually i like that this shelter actually changes based on the events you get uh drugs get the drugs that was our first thought and we were able to secure the med kit before it was burned to ashes but the fire grew quickly and damaged our other supplies we need to go through our stuff and see what's fine and what's not all right, unlucky. It is what it is. Okay, dehydrated, dehydrated. How is the outside doing? 
Um, our neighborhood is still... Okay, it's still bad. We've been hearing strange noises lately. Is it coming from the outside or is it something that came into the shelter with us? Could it be? We found nothing. We feel like we might be going crazy. We should probably get busy with something to keep us occupied before this gets worse. Okay, so we didn't have any of this, huh? <laughs> we didn't get the checkerboard, nor the cards. Whoopsie daisy. It always picks the events with the things that you don't have. It's actually so stupid. <laughs> Day five and he's already insane? <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> Oh, this is going great. Ha ha, what can we, we can live with them noises, right? We can even be friends. Ha ha. Well, he's crazy. Thank you, Ted. All right, everyone else is fine, though. This is okay. We can do this. All right, we should... I'm going to wait until day seven. Let's do that. Oh, what's here? This is a joyful time in a sea of grief. It's Timmy's birthday today. Just like yes, last year, we waited until the last moment to get him a present. But this time, our options are limited to whatever we can find in the shelter. What is he getting this year? Nothing. <laughs> Sorry, Timmy. You're getting nothing. If he goes crazy, too, we're going to go a full crazy run here. No. Nope. <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. Time to grow up, Timmy. This isn't Kansas anymore, and Santa doesn't exist. Damn, dude. Holy. All right. Everyone is fine. You're a little hungry. Okay, uh, so we're waiting until day seven before we do a trip. Hear that? No, because we don't have a radio. Yeah, whoopsie. <laughs> well, whose fault was that, huh? How'd you guys even start a fire? Yeah, the game has already been brutal and it's only... Se Wait, he's actually fine. Wait, what? <laughs> There's nothing here. Maybe if we try really hard, we can hear the neighbors in their shelter. Oh, he's got everything now. Wait! They all got tired? <laughs> what? That's so rude. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, uh, so much for doing an expedition. We literally cannot send anyone. <laughs> Are you serious? We got this though. We can survive, right? During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning. We saw a letter suitcase. There's no address or name on it, but we're pretty sure it's meant for us. Should we open it? This is going to make us sick. Uh, I'm not going to do it. It can hold food or it can make you sick. We don't. We have food right now. I'm not going to do it. It's not the cat event. No, that's not the cat one. The phone call. Okay. Maybe we can actually make it to the twins ending without even going on an expedition. Who knows? All right. Um, we're going to send Dolores because she's always, always good. Do we need any food though? You're dehydrated. You're dehydrated. You're also dehydrated. Okay, so let's see. Ring, ring. There we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again. When suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside, we figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? Yes. All right, please. <laughs> At least we're starting this early, and we have all the supplies we need for it, because we saved specifically those. When we answered the phone, we could barely clearly hear a gasp of relief from the seller, from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We st had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us soon. Okay. Uh, starving. Tired. They can get better from tired, right? Fatigue stays forever. We found some weird mushrooms. We're not going to do it. Not Last time we all got sick from this and everything went terrible. No mushrooms. <laughs> no. We still got food anyway. Day 10. Come on. If the twins show up soon, this is going to be totally fine. We may be hungry, but there are just some things we will never eat. Wall fungus is one of them. Good idea. You're hungry, starving, and just hungry. All right, we can do... Are you healthy? Oh, you're no longer... Wait, we should do an expedition then. It might make you sick. I mean, we can just send him. We have to send Timmy. And then we don't have to feed him for a while. It's our first expedition on day 10. I feel like that's a pretty okay time to do it. Um, so we're going to feed him. And we have the mask. We'll send him out with the mask so he doesn't get sick. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. All right, we're going to shoot him because the gun is not that important. And the bandits won't show up for a while, right? They follow... Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> they broke the gun. <laughs> Good job, guys. Our cans are safe. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still on top of the food chain. Good for us. Okay, so this is just random. It'll randomly break whatever you use to fend off the event. Uh, that's fine, though. Okay, so you are... Didn't we just give you food? How are you still hungry? What the hell, man? Rude. Okay, you're going with the gas mask. It has to be done. We don't really have anything else anyway. We cannot send him with the map. 
Because if we send him at the map and he loses it, we might be locked out again. Uh, all right. <laughs> Ted might be the only one left after a while. Uh, and he's going to be crazy. Uh, Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know when what we'll do if he doesn't come back. I sure as hell hope he comes back or we're all screwed. All right, dehydrate. Give us some good events, please. We thought it would be a great idea to have some role-playing fun and create our own shelter theater group. We called it the Thunderdome. We spent the rest of the day trying to write a script for our performance. We almost got into a fight over it and decided that maybe it would be best to play something simpler. <laughs> Come on, please. If the twins ask for a, ma a mask, I am going to lose my mind. Oh, boy. All right. We thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying, and we quickly stopped. You're starving. We're really running out of food fast. As we were looking through our map, we came across a few markings that were not original. Someone has added a pointer to a location near us. What would we find there? You don't know. Maybe it's, it's definitely worth sending Dolores, right? She's fine. She's just, she's tired. He's crazy and tired. We're going to send Dolores. We have, if we can get some supplies there, that'd be huge. Please. Don't be sick. She's fine. Wait, Ted is no longer tired. What did we get? How did you break the map from going outside? How? Are you fucking joking? Who told you to take the map? Why would that break the map? I don't understand. We were following the map directions closely, so close to me. If I knew that that would happen, I would have never done that. I ended up walking right into a pile of rubble and ruining the damn thing. Are you fucking stupid? These people are so... You're deranged. Yeah, no wonder. <laughs> These fucking people are unbelievable, man. Yeah, we don't have a radio. Whatever. All right, Timmy, come back with a map. You got this. I believe in you. That's actually so stupid. <laughs> How did that even happen, man? We had a knock at the door. Uh, What? Ted has always had a heart of gold. That's why we weren't really shocked to find him feeding our supplies to some disgusting fat cockroach. Both Ted and the bug seemed really happy, so we didn't manage to stay mad for long. Although when Ted started sharing jokes and life stories with the cockroach, we became a bit suspicious. We don't have any food, man. You feed it to the cockroach? We got one food left. <laughs> I'm becoming deranged. <laughs> this shit. Open in the name of freedom came a shout from outside the door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people probably armed. It's got to be the twins, right? Hopefully. I sure hope so. Ted is already crazy, man. It's, wait, what did we... What happened? Oh, we got a gun! Opening the door revealed a group of armed teenagers, possibly high school students. Contrary to what we expected, they were very friendly and requested to know if we'd seen any reds nearby. We couldn't help them. When they found out we were not armed, they were kind enough to leave us a spare rifle. We asked who they were. All they said was Wolverines. This is a reference to some movie, apparently, or something. Um, okay, what are you guys... Oh, my God. I am so mad, Ted. Why did you do that? We have plenty of distant relatives. Yeah, we don't have the book, so we can't get the picture of Ada. Whatever. We we used to have it until... Oh, Timmy's back, though. Have food, please. Oh, my God. You got a map, though! You got a map? And so we are left with no photos, no news, and no happy thoughts. The world is too cruel. We were so afraid for Timmy that he came back from the wasteland and saved with us now. We set off on an expedition to a nearby zoo we used to visit on weekends. We were happy to report that it was a productive supply run as well as an educational trip. We saw pterodactyl whales, chimp and deers, and porcuponies, a small army of cat roaches, and other majestic creatures that have emerged among the post-nuclear fauna. Between the east... Why did you get water? We needed food. East Asian and Australian sections, we found some cute pandaroos... Some had items stashed in their pouches, and they didn't seem to mind us borrowing a few things. All right, map. The marine life section had collapsed, turning into a radioactive pond in the middle of the zoo, filled with creatures like piranhas and sea ponies. In a half-destroyed aquarium control room, we found an undamaged cupboard with some supplies. Running away from humongous taranturaptor, tar taranturaptors, taranturaptors, that's probably what it meant to be. Um, oh, he found the book! We made our escape through the- Man, if you just got food instead of water, this would have actually been an insane expedition. Uh, through the zoo souvenir shop. Most of it was torn to shreds by the bomb, but a few useful things were still lying around. We got the book. We spotted some sort of vehicle just down the street. 
But we couldn't get a good enough look at it in the dark. Maybe future expedition will prove more fruitful. We have to send someone out there immediately. Like, it has to happen. Because this is over otherwise. For an isolated fallout shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a lot of loud noise since dawn, and we couldn't sleep. It seems to be come from under the floor, and coincidentally, we just found a manhole that could use to go down and check what's going on. We're going to check it with a flashlight. Maybe we can find food down there. Let's do it. That's like our only hope here. It was a monster. What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> we didn't have that flashlight. We'd probably be meal for something that was down there. We're not sure, but its eyes look very reptilian, very vicious, and very, very hungry. Was that a dinosaur? Oh, man. Will we send Ted out there? <laughs> He's starving. Will we send a crazy Ted out there? He's gonna die, Timmy. We have to send Ted. What is out there? We've been preparing for this expedition since yesterday. and feel ready to go now. Who should be the lucky one to venture into the unknown? We send crazy Ted. We gotta. He'll be fine. Let's see it. Do we give him the gas mask even? We give him the book? Because we already had an event with the book, right? Let's send him with the book. It's We need to give him... I mean, he's not going to be able to read it, though, because he's stupid as hell. <laughs> He's probably not coming back and the book. Let's just do the book. Whatever. I mean, it's just <laughs> Goodbye, we need to get so yeah, he's starving, but now he's gone. So he isn't starving anymore He might be starving out there. All right. He's got with a left with a book uh, Let's see. We're so gonna die No, he's starving We can't do anything we decided to peek outside for just a moment to see if the store around the corner was still standing when we were about to step out We heard a growl in the oh, no, it's just the it's just a dog but what if you sh if you shoot the dog and eat it? Is that a possibility? <laughs> Is that something you can do? <laughs> I would. <laughs> Is that possible? Don't shoot it. Dog soup. Eat it. No. Mm, why not? <laughs> no. No, it's not. <laughs> but we need food. No way they let you eat the dog. What do we get? The dog doesn't do anything for us. I'm got. I'm, I'm so sorry. Don't look. <laughs> don't look, gamers. No, we don't have any food. Uh, a quick shot with the rifle was more than enough to scare away, or maybe bring. He's he's only scared. It's fine. Oh no, it's all ogre, man. Yeah, we don't have the radio because it's broken the fire or whatever. Wait, how is there a radio broadcast? Oh, we're still all here somehow. There's one that, yeah, we can't do that. Okay, let's see. We have starving. Starving. Whoops. It's, yeah, we know the radio. You had this. This was last day. We also had this. You keep spamming the event with the... Oh, knock, knock. We need to open. Don't, is Timmy gone? <gasps> Timmy's still here. Yes. They say ignorance is bliss. Is anyone dehydrated? Uh, we were admiring the radioactive landscape when we saw a young woman dressed in ragged camel clothing. She had a nasty looking rifle, but she held us in a polite enough manner. She claims to be a, m a hunter tracking a big mutated spider. She ran out of the ammo and told us that if we were to help her out, she would pay us back in a while. I mean, we gotta try. <laughs> There's nothing else. Timmy is so gonna run away. It's been fun knowing Timmy. No, oh, he's sick now. <laughs> what the fuck? We agreed mostly because we were kind of curious what she's planning to do with that spider once she catches it. She doesn't want to say. Maybe one day we'll find out. Right, you're thirsty. Wait, you're no longer hungry? Wait, what? She gave us food. Wait, how did that happen? What? I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Some people keep... No, we can't give him the med kit because the twins sometimes need a med kit. Some people keep dogs and cats, and then there's the one who travel around with huge mutant spiders. Wait, it, it happened immediately? <laughs> huge mutant spider on a leash. Turns out one of them was the Huntress we helped some time ago. It was literally today that we helped them. <laughs> what are you talking about? She came back and shared a meal with us. Her tame pet spider tagged along, and it turned out to be quite friendly. We're pretty sure it purred when we pet him on the head, right above his huge, bloodthirsty, terrifying eyes. Cute. That was actually so clutch. Holy shit. <laughs> That's insane. Come on. Ted just needs to come back. 
He's so crazy, though. He's never gonna make it. Uh, we're all sick. <laughs> Why are we all sick? What made us sick? Oh, did it spread to Dolores because he was sick? What the fuck? Rude. A sleazy looking... Yeah, he wants to offer us the... The cat, but we don't have food anyway, so... Whoops. <gasps> He's back. Please have food. Please have food. Oh my god, Ted! Wow. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> I mean, I guess he was crazy. My grandparents always told us to never buy yeah, blah, blah, blah. Ted has safely returned from his voice to the surface. We came across a local church at the end of the road. Most of it was destroyed, but the priest's quarters survived the blast. A group of people survived there, there and had started a cult. They believe that everything that's been happening is a game. Oh my god, we got more water. <laughs> Tailored for someone's amusement. How crazy is that? Cultists decided they won't be needing holy water. We did a bit of miracle work and turned empty wine bottles into quite full bot water bottles. Scout handbook is gone. The vehicle down the street. Uh, we could go back there. We may we take a qu closer look in the future. All right, this is terrible. Do you need food? Because you're not getting any. You're sick. You're sick. <laughs> Why didn't you get food, man? I mean, we got to do another expedition. There is no chance. We have to. <laughs> We have to send them out there. They might be sick, but they, they're the only, our only hope. On the cupboards in the shelter was a big sh bit shaky. So we pulled it out to give it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. Where does it lead? Let's find out. We got to look for more supplies. Let's look with the flashlight. Come on. Please. Food. No! Why? We inspected every corner of the room and found nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. God damn it. All right, who do we send? Timmy or Dolores? Timmy? Oh my god, he's so fucked. <laughs> uh, I feel like we should send Dolores because, like, we need an adult to survive, right? So if, because if you both adult dies, then you lose the game. So we have to send her out there. We'll send her with the uh, gas mask, whatever. Actually, I think I'm just gonna send her full on with, like, water. Honestly, so maybe she could trade it. I don't want to send her with uh, with anything that might be needed in an event. You're so fucked. So we're just gonna do. We're just gonna try. Let's send her with water because we don't need much anyway. And we just pray that she trades it for for food somehow. And if she comes back sick, it doesn't matter because she's already sick. Uh, all right, so she's going with water. Hopefully, she can do something with that. You're dying. You're dying. Yeah, we don't have the radio, so that's pointless. Yeah, Ted is gonna be... Did Ted get injured? He did get injured. Oh, no. He's just covered in soup or something. Oh, he's not injured. He's starving, though. No! Jimmy's getting hungry! He found an uns... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Wait, what? Don't tell me this is the twins. I swear to God. <laughs> the stranger asked for our help. Apparently, there are a few survivors in grave needs of supplies, and we have a chance to help them, saying that we won't regret it, and we want to make several people very happy. We don't have any food. That's, uh, are you fucking kidding me? We saved everything this time that we've seen in our, like, seven playthroughs. We've seen them need the axe. We've seen them need the mech kit. We've seen them need the map. We've made sure to save that all of those three things and now they need something else <laughs> what the fuck they always need what you don't have it's so annoying maybe some other day we can consider a request but today the answer is no it might just be a trap anyway let's hope that's not okay knock on the door right you're so dead uh, last thing we expected to hear we're sitting wait wait maybe this here while sitting in his fallout shelter was a trumpet it was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player and who had probably never heard a trumpet player in his in his entire life he came with a friend who knocked on the door and demanded that we let the merry man enter so they could take from the rich and give to the poor well we are poor as hell so you better give us some food come on please we really need food man are you serious? Did they steal? What do you mean? We're poor, dude! <laughs> Why did they steal? We have nothing. <laughs> we're dying out here, man. They were not merry at all. They told us that we were rich and that we should share with the other 99% of the wasteland. They grabbed a few things that we left. We couldn't do anything to stop them. They're great for you, piece of shit. 
Oh my god, you suck. All right, well, unlucky. <laughs> You're hungry now, no. How are you still alive, Ted? Before the world turned into an unforgiving dead wasteland, we were friends with almost everybody in our town, including the old man, Jim. We would shamble through the streets often and always said hello. When we wanted to visit him once, he gave us an address that took us to a park. Old man Jim is such a joker. It appears that he survived the blast since he's at our door right now asking if we want to buy a rock. We'll do it because we need anything. Like, he comes back, right, with the rock later? Or something? Maybe he does it immediately? Oh my god, we're somehow... <laughs> Dude, even the sock hand gets sick. <laughs> Lol. He opened the door and greeted the old man with a smile. He was eager to show us a bag filled with a rich choice of rocks and convinced us to take one for free for old time's sake. We agreed, carefully chose the best looking rock, and the man left. We can't complain. It's a good rock, really. Also, he claimed it brings claimed it brings luck. We'll see about that. Dehydrated. Dehydrated. No, Timmy is starving. Never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one. That was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they've probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is they are huge and will probably attack them when they get a chance. Well, we don't have anything. So, Timmy's still gonna leave. Come on. Save us. The rock must... No! <laughs> Yikes. Oh my, the thing is huge. And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We already all feel di dirty. Come on, man. Well, he's dead too. <laughs> They offer... What? We don't need any of this. This is useless. Get away from me. Oh, she's actually back. Come on, give us food. No, Timmy! Why did you leave? We just got food. <laughs> no. Timmy, why? It was hard to turn her down because of that damn cheerfulness, but we did it anyway. The woman seemed a bit disappointed and tried to offer a schematic for some weird gun. We turned that down too. It's not like we have any tools here anyway. God damn it. We're glad to see the Lord's come back safe from the wasteland. Despite his rather calm demeanor, Timmy got into a few fights before the apocalypse. His last victory was beating a kid named Ethan with a stick. Ethan's parents were furious and invited us over to discuss Timmy's behavior. But before we could schedule a meeting, the world went to hell. During our trip, we found their house and knocked on the door, but nobody answered. We decided to go in and investigate. These people were obsessed with tomato soup. We saw many cans in their ruined kitchen. Most of them were damaged and all the tomato goodness has leaked out, but some survived. Behind the remains of their, ki of their kitchen counter, we found some bottles of water. It's not our favorite brand, but it will have to do. Wait, we actually got water as well as food. We found their garage empty. They might have gone on vacation before the apocalypse. Maybe they even survived. They left behind a few suitcases, though. We didn't think they would mind us borrowing one. Okay, well, that's not going to work. Yeah, I got a notification. I forgot. I, I, I was supposed to get a phone call earlier today. So I put my phone on, on sound, but then I didn't get the phone call. So what the hell? Um... Their living room was quite spacious and nicely decorated. There's not much left of it now, but we managed to salvage this checkerboard from- Did you have an insane investigation? Yeah, Timmy is gone. We have the- Okay, that's good. Wait, so now what? So you're- Fuck. Okay, we need to hope the twins- Was that actually the twins event? I mean, we can't do it. Uh, the problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here, and it doesn't seem like... I mean, I guess. We're already sick, so it doesn't really matter, but sure. Yeah, but... I mean... The problem is that if we heal, we are doubling down on the... Wait, that actually healed her? Wait, what? Wait, the washing healed her. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. If we can survive at least a little bit longer. Dirty ears. Shouldn't be much of a problem, just to be sure. Dibs on the gas mask. Wait, let's go. That's huge. Okay, starving. And she's the only one alive, so <laughs> she's, I love that she's so bored while well, there's literally a corpse here. Oh. So yeah, we don't have we don't have a radio. I'm sorry. Okay, wait, we need to serve. Can we get can we get the twins? Come on. Even if they come back for more food, we actually have food now. Please. Just come to our doorstep. I need you to come now. There's one thing we need to do. Yeah, no radio broadcasts. What do you need? Water? Yes. Come on. Seems that for every car... Okay, we're gonna have to shoot the cockroaches this time. Because they're gonna make us sick again. And they didn't do anything at all last time. 
it was completely pointless. We we had them. Yeah, okay, they're gone and the gun didn't even get removed, so that's fine. We've won the battle and maybe even the whole war. After the massacre was over, we tidied up the cockroach remains and dumped them to our shelter door. Let that be a warning to all the other insects out there. Don't mess with us. Now, what do you need? You were just a little hungry. Come on, can we do... The vehicle that was spotted on earlier expeditions. Oh no, we're not we're not gonna get another part for our tank. Rip. Uh turned out to be a shameless bandit trap. For now it was a tank armored with metal grills with an uh, actual antique cannon fitted on top and all covered with colorful graffiti. It was missing wheels, but we're certain we can make it functional again with the proper equipment. How do you need a harmonica to make it functional? German Destruction Angel, thank you for the five gift subs. All right, well, unlucky. <laughs> this what it is. Do we have so much fucking water? God damn it. Okay, come on. It's the twins, please. Uh, do you need something? No. We've been hearing a lot of noises coming from our neighborhood today. Our guess is that there was a zoo escape and the animals are stampeding out there. It might be a good chance to hunt some fresh food. Who will go outside? We got it. Well, I mean, we don't got it, but I want it. <laughs> it's fine. If we... Oh. Did that work? Too bad we never practiced sharpshooting. Every shot we fired in the direction of those animals looked like that looked like two-headed cows. It was a miss. Let's hope we'll be a, on target next time. God damn it, Dolores! You need something? You're starving. Uh, we can't do an expedition right now. Yes, here we go. When we opened the shelter door today, we saw a letter lying on the floor. It was a cry for help from a group of friendly survivors nearby, or at least that's who they claim to be. They're asking us to bring some supplies. So we got it. This is the twins. But we, ha we we were gonna lose our last food, but we have to. This, this is the only way we can actually get out of here. This is the only ending we can go for because we don't have the fucking radio. The authors of the note turned out to be the twin siblings, a brother and a sister. They greeted us happily and took... Uh, I, I actually cannot believe, by the way, like every run I learn something, I'm like, okay, well, previous run, we had a million food, a million water. We survived until day 50, but we missed a single item. So let's make sure we have that item this time. I make sure I have that item this this time. And then I'm missing food, which then we need food suddenly. Like every time it's it's making me need an item that I had an abundance of in my previous run, but now I don't have because I decided to get the thing that I needed last run. It's actually like, I don't know if it's like the way the game is, is like actually like torturing me with RNG or if it's just randomness, like what the hell, man? The authors of the note turned out to be the twins, uh, twin siblings, a brother and a sister. They greeted us happily and took us to a small tent where they started handing out the supplies we brought to a small group of hungry survivors. Between them were people of all ages, including children, the elderly, and even a mime. The siblings shook our hands and proclaimed this is the beginning of a new friendship. They promised to contact us again soon. All right. Uh, are you okay? You are dehydrated and also hungry. We don't have much food. We cannot send the lores out there. She's going to die. They offer radio axe for suitcase seems way better because then we can potentially yes that's the one thing we are missing for the next step of the twins thing so we gotta take it let's go that's actually huge we just need some way to get food to which we don't have any way to get food oh no Okay, that's good. The weird man tried to make us buy some fried cockroaches on a stick. Yes, take them! Covered in some mysterious sauce, this, this, these snacks look pretty disgusting. So we turned him down. We don't have any food. Don't turn it down. We bought something else from him. He looked a bit disappointed. God damn it. Uh, you're not going out there. On our way back from last expedition, we noticed some... This could ruin... Wait. No, no, no. We noticed some drawings on a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town, and a place was marked with an X. Maybe it's some secret stash of soup. We should, we have to, because there, there's no way we can survive if we don't get any more food now. So any chance for food, we have to take. Please don't break the map. No, we didn't get anything, but at least we didn't die. Oh, we, we got that, I guess. We're pretty lucky to have spotted that map. The spot marked... Small hiding place, and we found some useful supplies there. Wish it was food, but maybe we could eat the bug spray. All right, you're still hungry, but we have two more food. Uh, we have to keep sitting on our asses because we don't have a radio. Now, if they actually are going to need the suitcase, I'm going to lose my mind. All right, who is this? Uh, we don't have a radio. Do you need anything? You're still only hungry. At breakfast, we heard a knock on a door. It was a man with a rather excessive number of arms he had told us a group was having a hard time finding supplies wherever they'd go 
They got shot at first and asked questions later. They probably... Be it's probably because of their appearance. The friendly mutant presented us with a an offer in exchange for some supplies. His folk would escort us on our next expedition and make sure we come back safely. We're definitely gonna do that. We have a million water, bro. For sure. Nice. That's good. Okay, and then we can actually do an expedition with Dolores then. Because she has to be able to survive, right? She's dehydrated and starving. I guess we do it. She's in pretty good shape. We got to do it. There's no other choice. Our situation is getting worse every day. We can see the hunger and desperation in each other's eyes. You mean the corpse of Ted? <laughs> Which eyes are you talking about? Uh, we know a teacher from a local school rescued a bunch of kids when the bomb fell. We also know what kind of supplies are... No, we cannot do this. As part of the community, we help stock it for an emergency, so technically they're ours, right? No, we cannot do this because then the twins ending is over. If you are evil, the twins stop going to you, so we cannot do this. You have to skip that. And we're going on... If we die on this expedition, I'm actually, like, so mad because they told us that we were going to be safe, right? So, we should be fine. Okay, you're no longer thirsty. You're still hungry. I mean, I can send you out there. All right, we're sending Dolores. What do we give her? Um... What do we even have? We cannot give you anything. We could give you the gun. She's gonna be safe, right? I mean, gas mask would would make her not die. It would make her not get sick. Uh, she, I need something that she can trade. Maybe checkerboard she can trade. The, no, we're not giving her the map because she might break it and then we can't do the thing. Bugs, no, we're not giving her the map. We're not giving her a med kit, map, or axe. We cannot do that. Uh, we can do checkerboard. But we haven't done that in a while. Let's do it. Sure, we'll see what happens. We could do... I mean, we could do water to trade it, right? I, this has never worked, but I feel like we should try it. it. It's like makes so much sense. Like, it makes so much sense. But I don't know. It's never worked. We tried it multiple times. Let's just do this. Maybe we can trade this for... Like, we can use it as money or something. Whatever. Um, and hopefully she'll, she'll just come back with some water. Or food, I mean. Day 50. <gasps> Let's go! She's not sick. And she she didn't lose anything. Dolores is on her way to the service. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. Our new mutant friend kept his word. He brought a few friends along. We even had a bit of fun during the trip. And most importantly, everybody came back safe and sound. We waved them goodbye, hoping to see them again someday. Wait, we lost? Oh, god damn it. The padlock in our shelter finally came in handy. We used it to secure the, our home when leaving for an expedition. When we came back, we found signs of an attempted break and that padlock is too damaged to be used again. But at least our safe house is well safe. Okay, well, unlucky, but it's fine. We decided to finally check out what we can find between the rubble in our own backyard, our poor lawns and flowers. Once the object of desire of the whole neighborhood, now reduced to nothing more than radioactive ashes covered by debris. It really isn't much left out left it here. The only tree that's left is completely burnt out. In a hollow area inside the dead husk, some mutated three-tailed squirrels made their home. They're pretty good at collecting stuff. Hope they don't mind us borrowing a few things. We get two food. The garage still has two walls left, but some things inside are gone. Not even the bicycles made it through the blast, but weirdly enough, the baskets installed on top of them did. We found some leftover supplies there from our last bicycle trip. We get two water as well. Then exploring the wasteland, we noticed a box of rifle ammunition sitting on top of a high statue. Climbing that wasn't an option, so we decided to play it smart. We made a slingshot from some junk laying around and shot it at the box using checker pieces as ammo. Oh, let's go. So we got ammo from that from the checker pieces. Okay. So wait, but we didn't even lose that. We didn't even lose the checkerboard. Okay, interesting. So we need to take note of what we use to get certain events, right? So this is the event that happened because of the checkerboard. So we got ammo from that, okay? Uh, what do you need? You don't need anything. Wait, this is actually going surprisingly well. You can barely breathe in this damn shelter. For the last couple of hours, the situation is beginning noticeably worse. There might even be something wrong with the ventilation system. Maybe it's stuck. If that's the case, we need to f look into fixing it right away. Let's use the... I don't know why bug spray here doesn't make any sense. Just, like, I mean, there could be an insects in there, but just look at it first. And we also have a med kit in case we need to heal. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Nothing happened. 
The obvious thing to do when a vent is blocked is to check what's blocking it. However, when you shine your flashlight on a hive of mutated insects, things usually go from bad to worse. The angry hive is gone, but the insect did some biting before they fled. No, you're hurt. Oh, it's fine. We got the mech kit. We just need to see what the twins need on their next uh, event. So if they don't need the med kit, we can use the med kit. But we need to see that first. Sleazy looking trader. This is the cat. We just don't have the food for this. I'm sorry, cats. Cat lovers. This gives you the cat if you do it, but we just need to try and outlast the, the twin events. Come on. Or, yeah, we can't do that. All right, let's see. Do you need anything? You are starving. Yeah, we, we have to. They keep doing the, the military events, but we don't have the radio, so there's nothing we can do. Come on. Please. They knocked on the door, right? This got to be it. Uh, Come on. Be hydrated, please. <gasps> Here we go. This is why I saved it. <laughs> Our friends are back. The We've never gone this far. The twins are back. Our friends are back. The twins managed to find a safe spot that would do pretty well as a camp for their group. Everything was going well until the workers got into a fight with a raider band. It's very important for the group to finish the camp fast, but their injuries are not... But their injured are not able to work. They're asking if we have any spare meds that could help them take care of their patients. This is really unfortunate, though, because Dolores might die to the... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, but we have to. <laughs> we have to do it. Come on. Please. Don't die to your to your wounds, man. All right. They were very grateful for our help. We're sure they will put that first aid kit to good use. It's nice to be able to help others from time to time. Maybe they will let us visit their camp when it's finished. Maybe they will even throw a housewarming party. That would be delightful. We haven't attended one of those in way too long. Oh, boy. Yeah, if the doctors come by, that will be huge because we have so much water. What? This is it. You would expect the post-apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet, since you know most of the people aren't around anymore. Yet here we have someone at the door. When we open it up, we encountered a strange-looking man in blue jumpsuit who asked us to trade him a water chip. Yeah, let's do it. We have more than enough water. It's a, fall a Fallout reference. Sure. Come on. Please get food or med kit. Med kit? No, no med kit. What did we get? The visitor wasn't very happy that we didn't have a water chip. Wait, that we didn't know that what one was. He did help himself to the water we offered him and explained the chip is of utmost importance before we learn anything more. Bro, he fucking scammed me. <laughs> what a piece of shit. He just took the water for no... What the hell? What a dickhead. We're either going crazy or this entire se shelter is crawling with little insects or worse. It's worse. They're spiders. Okay, so this event, if you have Mary Jane turns her into a mutant which i really want to see but we don't have mary jane so uh we can't do it we're gonna use bug spray i wish that would happen <laughs> come on so twins just need to come back yeah whatever it's fine we got water from that if there's any, if there's one thing that can drive spiders away and stop us climbing up the furniture it's the bug killing spray this was the right time to unleash this deadly weapon, and the results were excellent. We eradicated 404 of those little bastards. We even found a water bottle stashed in the corner. It was a good day. Uh, we are... No! She's in agony! That's... Why did that happen so fast? God damn it. Why did she... Holy fuck, dude. Okay, uh, this doesn't do much. That's so unlucky that they needed the med kit this time, when we were, like, in dire need of a med kit ourselves. Oh, she's gonna be dead. That's so frustrating. We almost made it, man. All right, drink some water, eat some food. Let's try to keep her alive if this is even possible. Come on. Yeah, injured. I'll die. Oh, God. Come on. Someone needs to come here. Dolores says no colors left on her face. Her injuries need to be fixed ASAP. It's over, man. She's hungry again. Surviving down here, there's, there's no walk in the park. It won't get easier. We're hopeful this will blow over soon and life will be back to what it used to be. Or else we might face danger. I think it's out. Damn, that's so unlucky. <laughs> like, what can I say? Like, knock on the door, maybe? She's still alive? Oh my god, please. Please save me from this hell. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal. We might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. Come on, what's at the door? Uh... We said full of surprises like this man on the other side of the door knocking and claiming that he's willing to offer a, a lot for decent ammunition. Yes. No, she's going to die now. Come on, don't do it. No, that is so unlucky.
lucky. We just... Okay, we didn't get any medkit anyway. Oh, come on, man. We were so close. We got this, though. Oh, he gave us a radio. Anyway, okay, we got this. That was a decent run. We just got... Uh, what, what went wrong there? We just didn't have enough food. So, I guess... So, what do we need? We need food and water. Lots of it. Three people max. And we need map, axe, medkit. We know those are the things that the, the twins require. And we would also like to have a radio. I think with those few things, we just have to, like, make sure that we have those things. Because it's really hard to get, get them. Um, padlock also. Gas mask. Yeah, I mean, you kind of need everything. But we, I think we can do this. Okay. Take the medkit. Yes, medkit. Right, I'll take the bug spray because I'm here anyway. Go, go, go. There's so much water and food here. All right, take that. Take med kit. Take water. Yes. I see Timmy very close by. We get the gun. Yeah, this is a good haul here. Get all these resources. Boom. Take a water here. I can't. I'm too full. The gun is too big. All right, take the lighting. Go in. Okay, we need food. Go to the kitchen or take Timmy. Take the axe and then get a bunch of food. Bunch of food. We still need the map as well. Oh, the map is at the other side here. I think the map is only one, so we can take that. Yes. Okay, come on. Yes, grab that. Grab more food. Grab... Oh, no, I didn't want that. Wait, that's fine, actually. Grab that. Go, go, go. The handbook is super good if you send Timmy with it. Uh, we need to go to the kitchen super fast. Get some food. Go, go, go. No, I'm going to potentially die. Run. Grab some water. Run to the shelter! Go! Oh my god, I made it. Let's go. Okay. I don't know. I didn't get married, Jay. I'm sorry. You just cannot get everything, okay? We we have established that three people is the better way to go because you're just gonna, like, spend so much on food. What did I miss? I must have missed something there. Did I get the mech kit? I did. Okay. So we have actually lots of stuff. Let's see. Uh, almost all of us made in the shelter. Almost. So we got an harmonica in there. Uh, and that was it. Okay. How much food? We have... Okay, that was a good... So what are we missing? We didn't get ammo. We didn't get checker nor cards. I think this was really good. We have like a balance of everything this time, which was what we sorely lacked last time. We didn't get a suitcase. Suitcase just too heavy though. Okay. Or like, uh, just take like three slots. Okay. Everyone's fine. Let's hope for some good events here. Being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there. But that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we could make take a walk soon the neighborhood is probably much more peaceful since the bombings i think it's actually much better uh like it would have been better there to have one more water and one less food because water is used up way faster than food but it is fine okay the daughter is like three slots timmy is two slots and timmy does some crazy expeditions uh the wife is also only two slots i'm sorry <laughs> Do we have to take care of ourselves or will someone come to our rescue? We gotta try to get someone to come to our rescue. Alright, everyone's probably fine. Um, we don't... We can do an expedition with the gas mask. Oh, what's this? We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't... Okay, so the cockroach is here. We will use the bug spray. Um, the I don't want to lose the book. Because the book is usually very useful. Um, on expeditions as well as like getting a picture out of it. Uh, so we're just going to give up the bug spray. All right, we dodged the bullet this time. That is if the, bu if the bullet was a huge, hairy, had eight legs and a glowing glowing head. Hopefully, we won't have to deal with the with them again. I guess stuff. If they're, even if they're thirsty, it doesn't matter yet. We can send someone out. Because we, we don't have the thing. Book stays. It doesn't break the book. I mean, I guess that's like one of those things that if you know... I mean, that seems silly. Like, most of the time... There's like a 50% chance that you lose the item you use in an event. Uh, so I, I assume that the book also has a 50% chance that it gets destroyed. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't make... Like, it doesn't make any sense if there's no risk. Like, if there's an event where if you know the right option, you never get punished for it. Like, that... It doesn't feel like the type of game. I mean, maybe it is if you know it. Like, if you've looked it up on the wiki, then I guess. But it feels like the type of game where you just click random buttons and you have like a 50% chance of it going your way or going the wrong way. <laughs> okay, so we can go scavenging in these conditions could lead to radiation sickness. I feel like sending Timmy out there super early is kind of... I mean, last time we needed the gas mask immediately, right? Like the military showed up immediately. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Is just Ted going to get crazy again? 
Are they coming from the pipes, walls, or is it something behind the door? We don't know, and it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax, otherwise we might get paranoid. This always happens. It's always like you get events from the stuff that you... <laughs> you took everything you needed last round, and then this round, you need something else. <laughs> is it gonna be crazy again? Oh, no one's crazy. Okay, that's good. Very good. Boredom can really get to you in the shelter. It can lead... Okay. Lucky. They're probably all dehydrated. Yes. Okay. Uh, we woke up to a dripping sound today and noticed there's some something leaking from the pipes. That green liquid looked decent enough, even after it ate through the table and the chair and the floor. Patching up the pipe is probably a good idea. Let's use gas mask here, because why would the book really do much? I know you guys are so obsessed with the book. <laughs> Alright, I'll use the book. If it breaks, I'm banning every fucking one of you. <laughs> here you go. You put your your life on the line. Okay, maybe you guys are right. <laughs> what did that do? Oh, it didn't do anything. All right, well, I mean, I guess it didn't break it either. It's a tie. Uh, everyone's fine. We really should leave the radiation sickness. I'm doing it. I'm going on an expedition. Uh, what's this? Spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have all rights to the shelter, as we do. They're everywhere. Oh, man, if we had Mary Jane here, maybe I should have taken her. Because last time we had Mary Jane, we never got the damn spider event. <laughs> like, we didn't get it at all. Uh, all right, we're going to use the book again. Here we go. <laughs> we got it because we need to keep the mech kit. Book is like super OP, it turns out. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wait, it's still out. It's still alive. We got food from that. Dude, the book is insane. <laughs> A good book is the solution to any problem you encounter. This includes marauding spiders. A few precise hits and suddenly every spider is aware of what the word decimation means. We found a misplaced soup can. While hunting, those pesky spiders. That was one bountiful hunt. Let's go, dude. All right, that was actually good. Um, so we are sending people on expedition, right? So Timmy is going. He needs to have the gas mask because it's irradiated out there, right? So we have to send him with that. I would love to send him with the book. Book doesn't break for most things. All right, I guess we're using the book every time now. That's super broken. All right, let's hope he comes back. Otherwise, we're in trouble. We need to get some good events, though, here. We might be safe inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. None of us can see properly. We have to deal with this as soon as possible. Otherwise, we cannot do it. We might get tired from this, but it's we just need to keep the mech kit. The mech kit is too valuable. I wish you... I don't think you can stack more than one mech kit. Would be... Oh, come on, Ted. <laughs> He's crazy again. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour of or two of sleep no luck we're even more tired than we were and there are other problems we still need to face soon let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare some raiders away or save us from radiation sickness god damn it okay you're d you're crazy again it is what it is someone's at the door we're a bit scared but maybe they're a friendly american soldier should we open i mean we're actually in a pretty good spot i don't think we should open no, let's not. Because we're in a good spot. We got lots of food. They're just going to steal from us. There's like a 50% chance. Because it's not the twins. The twins is always phone call first. Wait, what? I thought we lost water there. The banger stopped after a while. And whoever's behind the door left. We have no idea who it was. They can steal stuff. Imagine it's MJ. Uh, okay, you're hungry. You're crazy. Okay, we're doing radio. Here we go. This going to lead to some military stuff. Wait, what? Did I draw something on the map? Oh, they drew something on the wall. Uh, we were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Okay. Good stuff. Starving, starving. We have lots of food, though. Here we go. Oh, wait, what? When we look closely at our map, we notice that someone had ridden a series of mis... Okay, so this thing can break the map. I'm not... I'm not doing it. Because this broke the map last time. I know it's like a 50-50%. But I really just want to save the stuff we need. Do it. It's worth it. But it broke the map last round. Like, you need to learn from your... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because it's all RNG. But let's just save the med kit, the map, the axe, and some food. So we can do all the events. We're not sending Ted, even though he's... Because, like, I wouldn't mind losing one of them. I might lose in the map. Because we know that happened. Uh, so we're not doing that. Get out of here. Oh my god, they're so fucked. Starving? I just gave you food. Uh, you have enough stuff? No, I don't. Because... Last time we had every item in the game except the map and we got stun locked for 30 days because we needed the map for one of the events. So you just need to save the map. 
What is that trickling sound? Oh, oh, come on. Well, I guess we're saving the map. <laughs> Are we about to get flooded? We don't have life preservers or a boat. A boat wouldn't even fit inside the shelter. We need to do something. Save the supplies. Well... <laughs> God damn it. I mean, they are also tired. We got a phone call. Phone call. Dolores. Go, go, go. Phone call is twins. It's the start of the twins. Dehydration. Do it. Yes. Okay. Phone call. Good stuff. Let's hope we get some good events leading up to it. This is such a hard ending, man. The military. Oh, he's back. Timmy. What did you get? We're so afraid of Timmy, but he came back. So this was the phone call. So they, they were called or... Uh, the call was cut short, but that's fine. We found a Tencent hotel in the ruins, but there was plenty to look through. Pieces of furniture, suitcases, and other hotel supplies were scattered all over the place. Now we know the secret of their restaurant chef. It's tomato soup. No wonder they have. A f there are five. They were a five-star hotel. Let's go. Everyone was stocked with water bottles for guests. A few of them remained relatively untouched by the explosion. Nice. We got a little bit of everything. That's good. Good job, Timmy. And you didn't even break what you took with you, so that's amazing. You're only hungry. Um. We could actually do another expedition immediately. Maybe we should risk it. Because Dolores could go out there. And then we don't have to feed her. But the, and she doesn't need the gas mask anymore. Maybe we just send her out with nothing? I'm doing it, I think. Uh, yeah, we can't do this. Maybe Ted, while he's crazy. Ted should go. <laughs> How do you stop the crazy? I don't think you can. Maybe with some event. Okay, so let's see. What do we use here? Um... And you are starving. Okay, so let's see. Expedition. It could either be a completely, totally safe, non-crazy. But Ted, if he's crazy, we don't want to keep him in the in the shell uh, shelter because he's gonna like feed. <laughs> he's gonna feed like uh, soup to the cockroaches again, right? Let's just send him out there. If he dies, it's honestly not even that bad. I think I'm not. I think I'm giving him nothing. Uh, this is my first time that I send someone out there with nothing. Like, I genuinely don't care if he makes it back. <laughs> go, go out there. Bye-bye! <laughs> because I don't want to lose any item because he's just going to die. <laughs> I'd left for the surface. Let's hope he makes it back. Dehydrated. Okay. So there we go. Oh, here! Wait, so they met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. They claimed to be a field hospital moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland. Okay, so we could do this to get healed, but we don't... We aren't hurt at all. No one is sick. So giving our water up here would not be... I don't think this is a good idea. There's no one's sick. Obviously, we're going to get an event. I mean, maybe we're going to get an event. They, I don't think they heal crazy. It's just like we need water way more. Uh, then we need to heal right now. So I'm sorry, we're not doing it. We're, we're sticking to our guns here. We're using the... We're, we're, we're like one track mind towards the end that we want to get. Um, so yeah, we're not doing that. Let's see, does anyone need anything? You need everything. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. Oh, so, so this makes you sick. So let's not do that, because we just denied the doctors. <laughs> oh, boy. Because, I mean, you can get food or you get sick, which wouldn't be worth it, because we just... I mean, if we just... If we just did the doctors, I would have done that. It can also explode, lol. We have no idea what, who left this... And nowadays, you can't trust anybody. We're not risking our lives for some supplies. They could be poisoned. We threw the gift away and quickly forgot about it. Okay. Uh, you are tired, hungry, tired, hungry. Give us... Oh, what's this? Okay, we need to stomp the ants. They're going in your pocket, Timmy. Oh, no. Mutated ants. They're terrifying little mandibles. Almost give the lords a heart attack. She wants them out. But Timmy says it's the beginning of an atomic ant farm. No, we're not going to have ants because they might make us sick. And we don't want to be sick. We did this last time and nothing happened. So it better not happen again. I think it's fine. And we reluctantly agreed to get rid of the insects, but once they escaped his pocket, they proved rather hostile. They even bit his finger? Let's keep our distance in case Timmy decides to mutate and grow a mandible overnight. Oh no, is he gonna be hurt? No, he's fine, he's just hungry. Okay, that's that's fine. Oh dear, we just remember we plan on taking a trip south in two months. If it's still there, we are going, right? We're pretty sure they don't bomb warm places. What the fuck? Okay, come on. Please give us more twins. We need twins fast. Okay, Timmy is a little distracted. That's fine. 
Uh, we can make it work even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that's the best way to get to Europe. <laughs> Wait, gotta go all the way to Europe? What the fuck? Okay, uh, dehydrated. Enough of this plain tasteless water. Dolores is really craving a cup of coffee. Real, true, blue American coffee. The kind that you can drink five cups and still feel sleepy. <laughs> Are they flaming? <laughs> They're flaming American coffee for being watered down? Damn, they would get wrecked. But we're, but we're going... Where are we going to find that in this wasteland? Well, Dolores' favorite diner is uh, used to be a few bo blocks away. Maybe someone should go on a coffee run. But who? I mean, wa having water would be really good. Timmy is reading chat. <laughs> he is reading chat. Now, I mean, if you want the lo if you want the coffee, you should go. Although, if she dies, we might lose because <laughs> Ted is definitely not making it back. <laughs> We should send Timmy, I guess. Because we need to have one adult. Because if we send Dolores and she doesn't make it back... Timmy, go! <laughs> Please don't die. We just need Dolores to survive. Okay, it's fine. Did we get anything? A volunteer came back empty-handed. Apparently, the diner's now just a sad hole in the ground with some seats lying around. What a letdown. All right, rip. Okay, you're everything. You're fine. Wait, everyone's totally fine. Yeah, we don't have a radio because it died. They always make sure that you lose something. God damn it. Ted, Ted is not coming back. <laughs> Dude, his hair. There's one. Yeah, we... Okay, come on. You're hungry. Hungry. It's been quite a while since we showered. This makes you sick, but luckily we have the gas mask. This actually also heals you. If you were sick, we know that last time. It might break the gas mask, though. Oh, they didn't. Let's go. Huge. Okay. <laughs> Ted is dead. Honestly, good riddance. <laughs> One less mouth to feed. Fuck you, Ted. If it doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. If we can survive just a little bit longer, dirty air shouldn't be much of a problem. Just to be sure, dibs on the gas mask. All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> okay, what did we get? We found an anonymous note next to our sheltered door whoever wrote it requested we send one representative to meet tonight in a said location yes this is the twins we're doing it we're sending dolores because she was on the phone timmy is not reading chat anymore <laughs> come on yes please it's true it's all true these are really others just like us we arrived at the rendezvous unarmed and on time we were greeted by a friendly looking group of survivors they're being led by the twins a brother and a sister who seemed to be friendly enough. They asked us some questions and promised to stay in touch. Please come back soon. We really fucking need it, man. We're running out of supplies. Uh, we're not doing an expedition right now. They offer water in exchange... Ooh, wait, that might actually be worth doing here. Water in exchange for... What do you guys think? Do we trade them the... One of these, I think we should do. We just need water. We, like, we can stay alive for long as hell if we have we do flashlight okay let's do flashlight like i think we don't have to go on an expedition keeping them safe inside the bunker waiting for the twins to come as long as we get a little bit more water so let's do one water um so we have or one get one extra water i think that's worth it it's only day 24 we're actually wait what the fuck did we get uh -huh. oh no i thought we got a bunch of Oh, it put the stuff from the box on the shelf. Lol. To make the trade, the man packed his things into the wheelbarrow and departed. Before leaving, he uttered something about bandit activity nearby and how dangerous the area is. We're not going out. We weren't planning. You were wasting. We're getting out. So we're not going out. So these are the Okay, so we can get the. We can get the cat here. We'll do it. Sure. Here you go. Cat time. Let's do the cat because we have so much food. <laughs> Let's do cat. It's fine. Not worth. I'm doing it. <laughs> I love. <laughs> Look who it is. It's Kitty. Here it go. It's friend. As soon as the door closed behind the trailer, the bag started to violently shake, emitting screeching hellish sound. Terrified, we backed up against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to be just an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. The collar says Sherikov. Is that its name? Okay. You were very, very hungry, starving. All right, no expedition. We can't do this. We just need the twin. We have everything for the twins, including food, including water. If they, they must be satisfied with what we have. Come on. Uh, you're gonna be 
start. Oh, you're fatigued now because you've been in the shelter for too long, probably. All right, well, I guess we're fine. What? We can trade away the map. Someone paid us a visit today. Was over. Yeah, we can't do this. We're not going to get rid of the map because we needed that last time, please. There is a cat ending as well that I want to do too. I mean, maybe we'll do the surprise cat ending here if the twins somehow ask something that we don't have, even though we have almost everything. Uh, yeah, we turned it down. I'm sorry. You're still not starving. You're starving. Yeah, we can't do this. Stop doing the radio event. <laughs> Crazy cat lady ending. As long When you collect enough cats, you can retire. Uh, so far, the cat's moving around in the thing. <laughs> Uh, if there's one, yeah, whatever. Okay, you're probably starving now. You're dehydrated. You're still hungry. Play the game of list. Okay, this one we can't do. Because this will trigger the twins to never come back. Because you make them angry. Is there anything that involves, like, stealing or, like, angry feelings will usually lead to... Uh, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Last time we didn't do it, and we... So we're not gonna do it this time. So we hate, we hate our neighbor, but we're not gonna steal from the neighbor. So, bye-bye. And the cat looks pretty healthy, honestly. Give us some food, cat. It's just moving around. <laughs> ah, you don't do that. You are starving. You are fine. Come on. We're trying to pet the little devil. While trying to pet the little devil, we found a piece of paper on his collar with an address scribbled on it. Could his previous owner still be around and worried sick? Chances are slim, but maybe we should play, pay them a visit... Or at least whatever's left of them. Sure, we'll do it because I think they steal the cat, but that's fine. Cat time. Someone's knocking. Bye-bye, cat. We'll be fine. Cat will come back. Don't worry. We grabbed one of our... We grabbed our new fluffy friend for a little stroll through the waste, only to immediately run into a couple of gentlemen dressed in trench coats, fedoras, and shades. They gritted their teeth at the sight of the cat and said they'd be looking for it. Apparently, it belongs to their old nan, who loves it dearly. Before we could utter a word, they took Shirakov, thanked us, and left. The cat didn't seem to mind, so maybe it's for the best. All right. Good. Bye-bye, cat. It's fine. Everyone's fatigued and thirsty. We didn't think we'd get a chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game, but that's what we were offered by a man who knocked on our door today. Two cans of food if we win. We don't have any cards, so you should have brought cards yourself, idiot. They ate the car. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, we're still fine. We have two people alive, plus lots of supplies. Um, they are fatigued. We're running out slowly. Just need to have... It's hard being down here. Living here, we need to make the best of it. Or else we might find ourselves in even more trouble. Come on, man. Yeah, the cat will come back. Don't worry. Not a knock. Is this going to be the twins? It's got to be the twins, right? Come on. What do they need? So mornings we feel a bit hopeless. We need to pull ourselves together and be more optimistic. The army can't be far. Come on, you're dehydrated. Come on, please. The twin siblings have paid us a visit asking if we have a map of our town in the shelter. Their group is becoming bigger every day and they're slowly running out of space in their tent. So now they're traveling through the city looking for a good spot to make camp. Let's go! We have it! Nice. Okay, and that's so much better to give up than the... The cat's also back. <laughs> I get. Wait, they didn't even take the map. They didn't have to ask twice. These people are very friendly, and the way they take care of others is impressive. We showed them the map and pointed out a few bandit camps that they should avoid. They were grateful and stayed for a little chat. They said they would be more than happy if we came to visit them once their camp is ready. We can't wait to see how it turns out. Let's go. Okay. This is amazing. We're actually alive and potentially doing it finally. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Sherikov found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris fell on our table, topped off with a big meowing furball. What is this thing anyway? No one remember no one nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if you take it away the wire, so maybe it's best to leave it be, or should we examine the wire? We can do it and then use the med kit if someone gets hurt. So let's do it. Because now we don't need to save the med kit. Now that we already Wait, what? We're fine? What happened? We grabbed the cable and followed it to a rusty old truck parked in our neighbor's driveway. Upon opening the door, we were confronted with two men wearing huge headphones who looked extremely surprised to see us. They wiretapped our shelter when we were asleep and they were listening to everything we said. We gave them hell and marched back to our bunker. What the fuck? Okay then. 
Uh, we're being spied on. Is this all an experiment? Uh, we're not going out there. We're not going out there. Yeah, we're not doing that either because we can't. <laughs> Got them so many radio events. This is, we're gonna get maybe cat ending before twins ending. I mean, I'll take whatever I can get now. There's one thing we, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, come on. Fatigue, hungry, dehydrated. Oh, we're running out of water slowly. The agents who were spying on us are now at the door. We, they want to explain themselves. Should we hear them out? Sure. I want to know what the fuck this is all about. <laughs> Please don't kill us. What? They briefly waved some sort of ID cards in front of our faces and told us they are top on a top secret government mission. The wiretap wasn't to spy on us, but rather on the cat. It's suspected of being a Soviet agent. They're willing to let us into their super top secret government safe house. If we help them with some of their top secret missions, they assured us that they'd contact us again with more details. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, then. I mean, we have two options to win now if one of them doesn't turn out well. Uh, the situation is simple. We're bored. It's too quiet and we're desperately craving entertainment. The solution is also also seems simple. Somebody should give our old harmonica a spin. Who is the best suited to give us a high quality mouth organ concert? Definitely Timmy. Timmy is good at this. Let's go. <laughs> Everyone's happy. Did that work? He didn't break the harmonica. Timmy's lack of confidence about playing made for an eventful, uneventful evening. Filled with low volume, short wheezing sounds, despite our best efforts to support him, Timmy just blushed and refused to keep playing. Weird. We thought laughing loudly and pointing fingers is a sure way to boost one's self esteem. Dude, what the fuck, Dolores? Alright, we're not going out there. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making this. Oh, this one! Yeah, yeah, the, the Monty Python event. Using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other. While this companion was pretending to ride said horse, they claimed to be on a very important quest to seek some magical cup. Only they lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to give us a quick look at our map. Yes. They gave us something last time. They gave us free stuff. Right? Did we get something? We got bullets! They seemed friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange. We graciously accept accepted and wished them good luck on their quest. Let's go. Uh, starving It's fine Okay, we can do an expedition But we're honestly, we're still hanging in there Ah, uh, guess what? We already got ourselves Our very own fallout garden We've got a mushroom, we cannot eat the mushrooms I'm sorry, this will make you sick And we're not gonna do it <laughs> Wait, what? There's a book sound Hello cat, still there We may be hungry, but there's some things We will never eat, wall fungus is one of them Okay, thirsty, dehydrated. We're s only six more pips of water. Uh, today during breakfast, we started when our map. We were startled when our map slid off the wall. We checked the nails holding it, but they were all firmly in place. It could be a poltergeist. Maybe we need to perform an exorcism to get rid of it. Anyway, in the wall behind the map, we discovered some sort of safe. We we're curious as to what treasure might be inside. Should we open it? Yes. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> knock knock What do we get? What the fuck? That was terrifying As soon as we cracked the safe open The lights went out And for a s few seconds We were left to complete darkness When it was all over We noticed that some of our supplies went missing Damn that ghost What the hell? <laughs> the ghost yoinked my supplies Rude I mean we mostly need water anyway But still that is rude Oh boy Using high tech. Oh, here we go. Using a high tech setup involving paper cups and yards of string, the agents rang in with another with our next top secret mission that will surely land us in the VIP bunker very soon. They want us to go on a successful expedition and write down what we saw in the journal. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I mean, we gotta do Timmy because we we can't. If Dolores dies, it's all over. So we have to do Timmy, and Timmy is better at expeditions anyway. Goodbye. And then the twins are gonna come back and then Timmy's not gonna be there and he's not gonna get saved. That'd be so fucked up. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. All right, then. Oh, boy. Yeah, we can't do this. God damn it. Yeah, we should have used the smudge stick, man. God damn it. Please. There's any... Yeah, we don't need this. We've gotten the same event like 7 million times. All right, starvation. 
We were afraid we wouldn't hear from them again, but our friends are back. This wait, we're so lucky that we have the book. The siblings proudly declare that their camp is ready, but they have one more thing in mind for it, a school. They want to somehow educate the children that live there. They already appointed a few people to teach, but they're a bit short on reading material. Do we have anything we contr could contribute for this case? Cause. Yes. But... <laughs> Not a question. I mean, we're going to do this, I guess. It's just a question. Does, does Timmy get left behind? <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Oh, no, it's still going. That was actually good. Buy book. We gifted them with our beloved scout handbook. It will do for younger kids, but one day they will have to establish a complete education system. How about the kids paying 10,000 soup cans to participate in the lesson? We're sure they would find a way to give it back after they finish school and get some sort of job in the wasteland. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, <laughs> we're fine. We said this real surprise that this man on the other side of the door knocking and claiming that he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, so you're fine, right? Let's do it. Come here, capitalism be like. What? Did he just play some music for us? Wait, he's back. Timmy. He's hurt though. Fuck. Oh, you gave us a radio! We handed the ammunition to the stranger and he offered us something of true value in return. A working radio! The recon mission was risky business, but we had to visit we had to visit neighborhoods that were, were dicey, even in the best of, of times. The area was full of mutated cats and dogs fighting each other in gangs, all of them armed to the teeth. We barely made it out of there alive, but the agent seems to appreciate our efforts. Let's hope these missions are actually worth it. Our bucket is just about due or an upgrade and we're expecting the government shelter to have an actual excellent bathroom maybe even a hot tub okay they're dehydrated oh we're running out though we have to send someone i feel like we should send i think we have to like we're not going to be able to outlast what is he he's hurt he's starving we could heal timmy and send him on expedition i think that might be the way to go Honestly, I'm doing it. Timmy, Timmy can get... Wait, what's this? Sometimes a sudden urge to play an instrument takes over us to create beautiful sounds to be shared with the world around us to sing and play and have a cute... And have cute mutated animals come to our feet to listen like a post-apocalyptic Snow White. Shall we? Sure. If we're gonna get hurt, we're already hurt anyway. No, I didn't select the mech kit because I will do that on the next day. I mean, I guess I could use it... Now, I want to do this first because maybe it'll hurt... Maybe this will hurt him and then we'll do it before sending him out there. Because maybe this will, like, bring over a bunch of post-apocalyptic animals that'll kill or that'll hurt us, right? And we need to save Dolores if she gets hurt. It's more important than Timmy. Uh, oh, there's cockroaches now. Lovely. Be careful what you whisper. After a few minutes of playing, a small group of mutated cockroaches jumped out of the cracks in our walls and started moving to the rhythm of the song. They ran around in circles and shook their little antenna. It would be adorable if they weren't so disgusting. What were we supposed to do with them now? Oh, come on. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna... We're gonna do this. And then we'll... I mean, I guess. Let me go out there. I mean, if we're, our, if we're sending him out, do we even need to do this? <laughs> I don't think we do it. I think we just send him out there. If he dies, uh, so be it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Timmy. Go out there with nothing. <laughs> We just need to have less mouths to feed. Timmy can fend off for himself. I'm saving the mech kit. I'm sorry. Timmy, here you go. <laughs> no, we're not using the map. We're, we're saving as much as fucking possible so we can do the twins ending or the cat ending. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know. He's definitely dead. I'm sorry. Starving. The funky roaches haven't really l left us. To be fair... They aren't causing that much trouble. They seem relatively friendly and curious. Just this morning, when we opened our eyes, we saw them standing in a perfect line right in front of us as if they were waiting for something. Let's try it. Make them dance, Disco Roach? I got achievements for that. Whoa, what the hell? If you can't beat him, join him. We figured the roaches are craving more of our music, so we fulfilled their unspoken request. They started joyfully prancing around again, creating fun shapes on the floor. Then all of a sudden, they all left in one line. We thought the show was over, but they soon came back in a group, carrying supplies on their strong, mutated backs. Insane. Looks like we made some new friends. Disgusting, mutated, radioactive friends. Let's go! <laughs> we actually got food from that. It's insane. Oh, here we go. We can do the... 
You can listen to the military finally. <laughs> That's what why you guys wanted us to have roaches last time. Is that what's going on? Uh, we made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions to keep our radio in working order. Okay. Uh, you need water. Oh, no. Clearly, we're trustworthy after our last successful mission. As the agent came back with another request, we are to generously provide either a couple soup cans or some water bottles for an agent in the field. They'll take care of the delivery. In return, we'll be given an encouraging pat on the back and the promise of a better future in a safe government shelter. Are you kidding me? We don't have this. <laughs> That's so rude. Uh, that's so expensive, bro. Okay, but now we at least... This is good that we've seen this, though, because we might not be able to get this now, but th now we know if we want to do the cat ending in the future, or maybe they'll come back as well, we can do the cat ending like this. So we have to send someone out. And what did we have to do? We have to give up food for the cat, then we have to do a mission, and then we have to do this. Uh, we're fine, right? It's unfortunate, but we gotta move on. The twins are almost, like, we've done so many things for the twins. They better, they better come. I mean, maybe there's more stuff down the line, but there's definitely something with that. We're not giving them anything, at least not this time. I mean, we don't have anything. We're not, like, doing it on purpose. We keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Not on our heads, anyway. Yeah, you can do a different path if you do the wire or not, probably. All right, twins, you got to come to our rescue, man. And Timmy coming back would also be nice. Memories or not, we need to keep our heads clear and get a grip on reality ahead of us. We've not eaten in a while. We're still fine. Last time we went out on an expedition, we noted an abandoned tank just sitting there out in the open. It looks damaged, but may contain useful supplies. I don't think we do this. Because we have supplies, we just need to wait out the twins. So I'm not doing this. It's too risky. She might come back dead. Um, Did this Timmy come back? Wait, Timmy did come back! Wait, he got stuff too! We decided against going for an inspection of the tank. For all we know, it might be a trap or simply a burnt out wreck. Not worth our time and effort. We're so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Dude, he's, he came back against all odds. Our house is in ruins. We still haven't paid the mortgage. No need to worry about that now, is there? The least we could do was pick through every whatever is left and see if there are any useful items. Maybe one of Timmy's comic books survived. Our kitchen is a pile of rubble. It took us weeks to find those lovely chairs that match the floor tiles. Now they were no... We've got another book? Now they were nowhere to be found. Only a few bottles of water remain scattered in the dirt. Uh, two bottles of water. Only a handful of books survived the apocalypse. They were scattered all over our lawn. Many of them were badly burned, but a scout handbook with the number 13 scribbled on the first page was barely touched. The muddy swamp, which used to be our toilet, is now home to something that remotely resembles mutated turtle. After exchanging a few pleasantries, it gave us anti-bug spray and wished us all the best. Dude, he went sicko mode with no supplies at all? We spotted some sort of vehicle just down the street, but we couldn't get a look, good look at it. That's insane, man. Timmy went crazy. Okay, uh, Timmy, you deserve a mech kit for that. You're hungry, tired, you're starving. We gotta. I mean, we might have to send someone out there, though. All right, let's try. Uh, what? So we're about to start our book club discussion on the only book we've all read, the phone book. We were interrupted by rapid knocking at the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. They were doing much worse than us and begged us to provide them. We don't have any. <laughs> like, they might help us out on the next expedition. Oh, we could give them water because we have lots of water. All right, we'll give them water. Here we go. We're such good guys, though. Holy shit, you better do something good for us. Knock, knock, knock. Wait, what happened to the mech kit? Oh, no, we used it on Timmy. Sorry, I thought they stole the mech kit. I was like, what the fuck? No, we used it. Our visitors had a problem in finding enough words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed, smiles and hugs exchanged, and they wished us all the best. It was a great feeling to be helping someone out. They left soon after to seek shelter in the ruins of our town. We hope they make it out there, okay? You are dehydrated. You are starving. Oh, no. What is this? Someone's at the door. We're a bit scared, and maybe it's... Yeah, we gotta do it. Should we open? Maybe this is the twins ending. We gotta. Did we do it? Let's go! <laughs> we did it! Nice! Ally in the wasteland. This has taken so much effort, dude. It took so long to finally get this to work. 
All right, the end for so long. We thought the world was really turned into a cruel, unforgiving, hopeless place. But today our views on it were challenged when the siblings and a few other people from their group visited us with an invitation to come live with them in their freshly built, fully functional camp. This is our chance to have a normal life again, being between friendly and good people, taking care of each other during the good and the bad and uniting together against the evils of the wasteland. This is an emotional moment for us and a time to leave our dark but cozy shelter on a way to a brighter future farewell our humble little home we're starting a new life today so finally like every time we probably got so unlucky with this ending because every time we would try it they would require the one thing we didn't have there was a one run where we literally had everything and then mary jane lost the map on one of the expeditions and then they just kept needing the maps and we couldn't do the rest of the the entire event and we just slowly died off by people like running by us just running out of food and water uh so yeah we finally did it look at that <laughs> a brand new ending our house 60 seconds later wait what our house oh that's uh i thought that was the ending a, a new beginning there we go we've done it i want a screenshot of that that <laughs> they're all both covered up and we got the cat too maybe the cat can come with us that was an that was a good run, man. And we actually made two people. Wait, where's where's Timmy? Two people actually survived. Last time only Dolores survived. This time, so it turns out doing too many expeditions is actually bad. Like you don't get what you need. Sometimes you lose a lot of. Because there was that one round. Was that the last round where we send a bunch of people on expeditions, and every time we would send them on an expedition, especially if you used a suitcase, they would take all the stuff with us, and then we would get a bunch of events that required the things that we just sent someone on. A, on an expedition with which made it like super hard to get anything so yeah we've done it uh let me know if you want to see more i would love to try the cat ending either the actual cat ending or the secret spy ending i would love to um is there another ending that i would i need to we need to get mary jane back in and then get the mutated mary jane apparently she's like super overpowered so yeah let me know if you're watching this over on youtube i hope you enjoyed it that was a lot of fun if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely games here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash or click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye